Aqua Products offers water purifying solutions. At the end of the current period, the company reports the following amounts. Assets, 90,000. Liabilities, 40,000. Dividends, 3,000. Revenues, 20,000. And expenses, 12,000. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna calculate the net income. Remember with net income, we can calculate that by taking revenue minus expenses. So we can start with our revenue, 20,000. We subtract out our expenses of 12,000. We get net income of 8,000. Now let's calculate the stockholder's equity. Remember what the stockholder's equity is part of the accounting equation. So that is assets equal liabilities plus stockholder's equity. So if our assets are 90,000 and our liabilities are 40,000, we need to determine what our stockholder's equity is. We can do this by subtracting 40,000 from both sides. So we have 50,000 equals our stockholder's equity. Next up, Zeta Network facilitates e-commerce transactions for high traffic websites. At the end of the current period, the company reports the following amounts. Assets, 45,000. Liabilities, 34,000. Revenues, 17,000. Expenses, 23,000. First, we're gonna calculate the net loss. Now, a net loss is just where your expenses are higher than your revenues. Your net income is basically going to be a negative number. So we can still use revenue minus expenses equals net income. It's just that our net income is gonna be negative in this uh, example. So our revenues are 17,000. And our expenses are 23,000. So we're gonna end up with a net loss of 6,000. In accounting, we put our negative numbers inside parentheses. Next up, just like above, we're going to calculate the stockholder's equity at the end of the period. Remember, we're gonna use assets equal liabilities plus stockholder's equity to calculate our stockholder's equity. Our assets are 45,000. Our liabilities are 34,000. We can subtract 34,000 from both sides We will get 11,000 equals our stockholders' equity.